Hello, I'm Eric Lawrence, the developer of Fiddler, and I'm here today to show you some of the automatic response features in Fiddler and Fiddler 2. The Auto Responder tab is here, and it enables Fiddler to respond to requests using local offline content instead of actually going out and hitting the server. This is useful both if you're trying to demo a feature while not connected to the network, as well as to replace specific scenarios when you're performance testing or testing functionality. So let's actually go open a pretty standard web page. Let's go to dub dub dub. Actually, let's go to HTTP msdn.microsoft. I don't know my own URLs. Blogs.msdn.com/ie. This is the Internet Explorer team's blog, and you'll see that when it renders, there's several images available. There's the mix image here, and then there's some screenshots of Internet Explorer. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create an automatic response rule. And so we would like to make a response rule, for instance, to replace this, which is an image used in the blog. And we're going to create a response. So we enable automatic responses first, and we're going to add a new rule. Down in the rules box, basically we enter the string that we're going to match against, and we choose a response file to replace the server's response. In this case, I've taken a response that I've previously saved, ericsface.dat, which is just a photo and we click Save to save the rule. Now if we clear our session list and go back to Internet Explorer, hitting Control F5 to force a full refresh of all the resources, what we'll see is that when Internet Explorer downloads, Fiddler will actually replace the chosen image with a chosen response. So you can actually write rules of, of more complex nature. So for instance, if we want to replace anything any image which ends in PNG with this picture. We can update the rule and then go back and refresh. And you should see that my face is everywhere. Okay, A bit narcissistic perhaps, but uh, a pretty simple demo to do. Now, one question you may have is where to get the images from. For instance, I had this ericsface.dat available locally, but it's obviously you, you want to be able to create response files of your own. The response files of your own are stored in the oops, are stored in your My Documents folder under the Captures Responses tab. So in this case, I have these responses here. If we actually open up the file. you'll see that it's basically simple text in this case, or in the case of an image, it's the HTTP headers and then the response body bytes. So Fiddler, obviously, is capable of generating these itself. So if we were to go out and let's turn off our automatic responses, and we refresh the IE blog, we're going to see this time content including an advertisement for the Mix conference right here. So the way that you can store this so that you can reuse it later is you can right click, choose Save, Response, Entire Response. You want to save the entire response so the HTTP headers are set correctly. And then name it something appropriate. So we'll call this Mix Logo. Dot dat. Now that we have this response captured, we can easily go to the Auto Responder tab, again enable automatic responses, and change the rule such that we return mixlogo.dat. Save the rule, and refresh the page. Now we should see the Mix logo in multiple places. Okay, as you can see, that worked correctly. Another alternative is you can actually use response breakpoints and choose to send responses from your responses folder manually. So in this case, let's use BP after a quick exec rule to create a breakpoint after any request for a file ending in .png. 
as you can see, we've successfully created a response URI breakpoint for PNG. Let's go ahead and disable the automatic responses feature, and let's refresh the IE blog. Now you should see in Fiddler actually a paused request for images. In this case, it's actually requesting this logo, and let's use the drop down to actually choose my face instead, and choose that to run to completion. Now for this one, we can choose, say, the mix logo, run to completion. Let's just say that this is actually a 404 to simulate the file not being found. And we'll choose here uh, my face, run to completion, and here we will choose, oh, say, a generic 404, and run to completion. Now, when we view the blog, we should see a mix of red X's, my face, and the mix logo. As you can see, here's, here's one of the 404s that we returned. And there's my face. So this is a pretty simple feature that enables you to really quickly return responses that are cached in your local machine, either for performance reasons or for functionality purposes. Hopefully you'll find this feature useful in some of your web debugging tasks. Thanks.